I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't wanna come out here today, but I knew I had to come out here. And I realized at the end of the day, it all starts with me. And I wanna relay that message to you. Where you're at today, where you choose to go tomorrow, it's on you. What you choose to believe, what you choose not to believe, it's on you. But I'll tell you this, man, and listen to me when I say it. You're capable to do anything. You feel me? You're capable to do anything. The question is, a lot of us aren't willing to go through what it takes to get to the place that we know our life needs to be. It's not about your capabilities, it's about your mentalities. So whatever it is, whatever limitation is holding you back, please stop believing that limitation. Please stop believing that excuse. Please stop believing that opinion. Please stop believing that lie. And it's time to take your life to the level it deserves to be at. All right? Like life, we only get one life, man. We only get one life. That's it. And I, and I know a lot of us know that, but a lot of us don't really understand that. Because if you understood that, you understood that <laughs> you on a time schedule, you on a countdown already, you'll stop wasting your life, man. Stop playing with your life. But Trent, you don't understand. Nobody supports me. But Trent, you don't understand. Nobody's there around me. But Trent, got the deers out here right now. They listen to the message too. They need some rehab too. But listen, I get all that, man. But realize it all starts with you. Stop complaining. Stop blaming. Point the thumb at yourself and say it all starts with me. Say that 10 times every time you wake up in the morning. It all starts with me. It all starts with me. Because listen, peop, this world ain't going to give you nothing. Even if this world owes you something, the world still ain't going to give you nothing. Some of us wait our whole entire life waiting on people to say they love us. Waiting on people to apologize. Waiting on people to support us. Waiting on people to have our back. Waiting on people to give us this, to give us that. Some of us, we're going to die waiting. Nobody gave me no platform, man. What God had for me. People told me no. People shut the door on me. People say you look like a thug. People say cut your hair. People say you got tattoos. Wasn't nobody asking me to speak. But you know what? Instead of begging myself in the building, God gave me the tools to build a building. And that's what I did. So I know a lot of you don't like this message because it's self-responsibility and self-accountability. A lot of us, it makes us comfortable to blame other people. It makes us comfortable to blame our environment. It makes us comfortable to blame other situations. I get it. I was that person, but I'm telling you, even though you might be right, it's not going to do nothing for your life. Even though you might be right, it's not going to do nothing for your life. So what's one thing you can do today that you can take responsibility over that's in your control? I don't care if it's coming out walking. I don't care if it's coming out here protecting your peace. I can do this. It don't take... Nothing. As long as I got the help to do it, I can do it. So what's the one thing that you can do that will move your life forward? That will move your life to a better mindset? That will move your life to a better environment? That will move your life to possibility instead of limitation? What's one thing that you can control that's in your control? Nobody else. Because a lot of times we think about all the things that are out of our control and we have a lot of things that are out of our control to control us. It's time for that to stop happening in your life and say, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to get in my word more. You know what? I'm going to let go of these friends or I'm going to spend more time around this person. You know what? I'm going to go volunteer right here. You know what? I'm going to take my health to the best place it's ever been. That's the decision that you got to make. That's the decision that you got to make. So what things in your life you need to let go of? Because I get messages all the time. I get people mad at me, complaining to me, uh, whatever. And I'm like, dang, you have so much pain in your heart that you're getting mad at someone else. I get people, get people mad at me when I don't respond back when there's millions of people. But I understand pain makes you selfish. I was there. But a respond for me, even though you want it, even though I try my best to respond to everybody, I'm only one person, a respond for me might influence you, but it's not going to change you. This message might influence you, but it's not going to change you. You have to make the decision. You have to make the choice. Okay, so it is on you. It all starts with you. Please start telling yourself that every single morning if you're serious about change. And I'm sorry I'm so passionate, but I refuse to keep letting people waste their life. I refuse to keep letting people sleep on their life. I refuse to keep letting people live their life in pain. I refuse it. All right, but if you say, Trent, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm going to give it a shot to, to live my best life. I'm going to try, Trent, even though I'm out of shape, I'm going to get in shape because you know what? I got to choose a hard anyway. It's hard to stay in pain. It's hard to grow. People say, Trent, it's so hard to change. It sure is. But you know what's harder? Staying the same. Choose your heart. People say, Trent, man, it's hard to move on. You're exactly right. But you know what's harder? You know, stay in the place where there's pain. That's harder. So you got to choose your heart in life. Which heart do you want for me? This sucks out here. <laughs> Excuse my French, but I am tired. I am running six, five miles of trail running. I got to watch out for snakes, deer, raccoons, 
coyotes maybe. And I'm, I'm running through it all. I don't care. <laughs> but it's hard. But I say, you know what's harder? Being unhealthy. You know what's harder? Being sick. You know what's harder? Not having energy. That's harder. So I'm going to choose my heart. I'm going to choose the heart that's going to lead me to strength. I'm going to choose the heart that's going to lead me to growth. I'm going to choose the heart that's going to lead me to a better mindset. That's the heart I'm going to choose. Life is hard. Period. I don't know who told you life was easy. Life is hard. Life is a struggle. But it's all about changing your mindset towards. And some of us, we have so much junk in us for years that we got to get back and unpeel a lot of layers. But you got to tell yourself it all starts with you. It all starts with you. And guys, everybody asking me to DM you, you got to realize I have thousands of messages. I cannot get to every message. I try my best, but I am one human being, guys. I don't have a team of people messaging y'all back. On Facebook, I have a system set up to help you as best as, it, as best as I can help you. We have a support group that is awesome. The Trent Shelton support group, I've seen people make a comment. I've seen like 900 comments back to a person. So if you need help going there, because I cannot promise you I will respond to you personally because I can't. I physically can't. I'm one person. But I try my best. Understand that. If you, can, if you know me, you ever met me in person, you know that's real. You know that's real. I'm still changing, guys. I don't have it all figured out, but you see me putting in the work. You see me getting into better shape. You see me putting myself in a new environment. You see me building my life. I'm rehabbing my life with you. I'm not talking to you from the top of the mountain. I'm not saying, oh, look how far I'm, I'm ahead of you. I'm not talking to you like that. What I'm talking to you is like, listen, I'm, with here, I'm right here with you. I'm putting, on a, I'm putting in the work with you. It's hard. It's easier said than done, but you know what? We're going to get it done. So hopefully, hopefully I inspire, I inspire you that there's a possibility that there's a greatest you inside of you. And I'm just trying to serve you guys as, mess, as best as I can. I love you, man. I love each and every one of you. If you ever met me in person, you know, sincerely, I mean that. I'm not perfect, but I got a lot of purpose. And I'm trying to live it as best as I can to inspire you. All right? This is what protecting my peace is all about, man. I come out here and I run up to this spot. I thank God. I just disconnect often. I let my worries go. Let my thoughts go. I don't try to control my thoughts. I don't try to analyze my thoughts. And I just sit here and I appreciate. And I love coming here because this is a pretty hard run to get up here. So not a lot of people get up here. I encourage you to get out in nature. You guys know how I feel about this. I encourage you to get out in nature because nature heals. Okay, nature heals. Nature is, nat is God's natural medicine for the soul. Get out in nature. If you're feeling stressed, get out for a walk. Right, see the beauty of life. See the flowers, see the animals. Get the breeze, all of that. And remember this, look at that deer, y'all. Can y'all see it right down there? Guys, they're joining us. But um, I'm going to keep saying this because I want y'all to understand this about environment. And I'm for real, for real, I got to go. Even the most beautiful rose, no matter how much potential it has, even the most beautiful rose in the wrong environment, is nothing more than just a worthless flower. Think about that. Some of us, we feel worthless. Some of us are having the results of worthless because we're in the wrong environment. You are that beautiful rose. You are that beautiful soul. But you must get in the right environment to bring that out to you. I pray you find that environment. And I hope today, I hope today, just on this live, was that environment for you. I hope I brought that rose out of your heart. Let's get it, guys.